Hello, welcome back to a new video. So today I want to tell you why the ROG Ally is better than the Steam Deck and the Steam Deck OLED and why you should buy one of these instead of the Steam Deck OLED. Now, before I start this video, I have to disclaim, make a disclaimer that I am not sponsored by Asus or Asus or the ROG Ally in any single way. I just really love my ROG Ally. I think it's the most amazing device I've ever used. And I think if you don't buy this, when you're looking for a handheld device to play games on, if you don't choose this, then I think you're making a massive, massive mistake choosing any of the other iterations of handheld gaming consoles over the ROG Ally. There's a lot to choose out there in the marketplace right now. There's a Steam Deck, there's the Steam Deck OLED, there's the Lenovo Legion Go, there is like a big 10 inch thing with weird looking controllers. I think there's like a 12 inch version as well from some company called TP101. I don't even remember what it's called. There's Aya Neo. There's so many of these powerful ga gaming handhelds coming out. But I really believe that if you don't buy the ROG Ally, then you're kind of stupid. And I'm gonna tell you why in this video. Okay, so reason number one, this thing runs full Windows 11 operating system straight out of the box. You don't need to do any kind of hacking or hackery mumbo jumbo business or like Google, how do I sideload Windows onto my Steam Deck and then follow some stupid tutorial that has like 22 bazillion points on how to sideload Windows. Some people say, oh, it's so easy to do, but people like me who are not technically skilled or gifted and are very lazy, I can't be bothered to figure out how to sideload Windows or any of these other stupid programs and stuff like that onto my Steam Deck. I wanna open up the Steam Deck and turn it on and it's ready to go with Windows loaded onto it, but it's just not. And the ROG Ally, Ally is already preloaded with Windows 11. So you can do everything that you can do on Windows 11, such as download Xbox Gaming Pass, download Battle.net, so you can play World of Warcraft on this. The only way to play World of Warcraft on Steam Deck is if you try and figure out how to put Windows 11 onto the Steam Deck. And it's not really hard, I guess some would say, but it's just like an annoying step that you would have to invest time and effort into learning how to do when I can't really be bothered. Why would you be bothered to do all that stuff when you can just get the your Ally and it's already ready to go straight out of the box. This thing is way more compact than the Steam Deck. It might not look like there's much of a difference, but this thing is way more easier to con easier to control and hold and pack away in your backpack. There's no touch pads. You can see here, there's no touch pads here. And that is one of the reasons why the Steam Deck is so much larger is because of the stupid track pads, which I never used. I'd rather, why would you use the track pad when you can just use your finger to point on the touch screen to, open and close programs and stuff like that. I don't see myself ever using the trackpad. And also it's just way lighter and easier to manage in your hands. I don't have massive hands, so gripping stuff like this is kind of cumbersome, but it's not as cumbersome as it is when you're holding the Steam Deck. So I just prefer the form factor more. Also the bezels on this thing are way smaller than the bezels on the Steam Deck and the Steam Deck OLED. Now the screen is also very good on this. It might not be as bright or as vivid as the Steam Deck OLED because this is just an LCD panel, but for an LCD, it is a very good LCD. It has very good colors and detail and you'd really not really notice the difference between this LCD panel and the Steam Deck's OLED screen. Only if... <laughs> And when it comes to the CPU or the APU or the internal chips of the two devices, the ROG Ally completely blows away the Steam Deck. So they're both using an iteration of an AMD APU CPU. The ROG Ally has the AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme, which is a four nanometer chip. And the Steam Deck is also using an AMD chip, but it's a more power efficient AMD chip with only six nanometers. So if you know anything about nanometers, and semiconductor chips, you'll know that the smaller or the lower the number, the better, the more powerful it is. So that's a difference of two entire nanometers. The OG Ally has a two nanometer thinner chip, and that means that it's more power efficient and more powerful because you can pack more transistors. The smaller the nanometers are, it means the more transistors you can have on the chip, and the more transistors you can have, the more powerful and more cooling you can have on the chip, which means you can draw more power without overheating as much. So that's a difference of two nanometers, which is massive in the semiconductor chip world, which means you can get a lot more power and juice out of the Z1 Extreme AMD chips compared to the underpowered chip on the Steam Deck. Now the drawback is, the chip on the Steam Deck is less powerful, 
But the good thing is it is more power efficient. It's kind of like the Steam, I mean, it's kind of like the Switch OLED or the Nintendo approach of things. They go for power efficiency, so they tone down the power of the chip in order to get better battery life and better cooling. So it's kind of up to you. Do you want more power but less battery life or do you want less power but slightly more battery life? The Steam Deck and the Steam Deck OLED and the Switch, they do have superior battery life but the power and the graphics on those things are going to be way less powerful than anything on the ROG Ally. And that's just because they're using a more crappy chip. Now, when it comes to price, the ROG Ally is admittedly slightly more expensive. It's the difference of a couple hundred dollars. So do you want to pay $700 or maybe $650 now that it's Black Friday sales? So you could pay $650 dollars for the ROG Ally or you could pay 500 I think the Steam Deck OLED is like $530 so it's barely a difference of a hundred dollars people are saying oh it's so much more expensive the Steam Deck's cheaper the ROG Ally is too expensive when technically it's only a hundred and twenty dollars more expensive than the Steam Deck OLED I don't know about you but to me it's not really a massive deal breaker to have to spend an extra $100 so you get a more powerful chip, you get a cooler, more compact looking device, you got a more usable and functional device that has Windows 11 preloaded and pre-booted onto it. So not only can you game on every single game store that exists, Epic Game Store, Xbox Game Pass, EA Game Store, Battle.net, not just restricted to Steam, you can do anything on this as if it's a computer because it's literally a computer but it looks like a, a Game Boy, like a children's device. It is in every way not a children's device. It's a fully fledged Windows laptop in the form of a Game Boy. But if $100 is a lot of money to you, then maybe you should spend less time gaming and more time working and getting a job because if, if you're honestly saying that $100 is a lot of money to you and it's... A situation if, if I don't have this hundred dollars in my bank account then I will go homeless and I won't be able to afford food and groceries and I won't be able to pay my rent then I think you have bigger problems on your hands in your life than choosing which gaming console to choose to buy you should be trying to think about I don't know how to get a better job or how to cut down expenses so you've got more money left over whether you should buy the ROG Ally or the Steam Deck shouldn't really be your priority at that point if this is too much money for you. So that's my video for today. I still stand by the ROG Ally. I think it's a superior device compared to the Steam Deck OLED and any other Windows or non-Windows gaming device out there. I don't really see how you can better the ROG Ally in terms of price, functionality, performance, and looks. It just wins in every single area.